don't need any of them. Fuck them. Call me says. It'll be funny says. Yeah, right, Jamal. I'm not gonna tell my fucking life. I'm getting worried about you and your brother, love. What's been talking about? We're fine. Three times this week I've had the police round. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. Why can't you be like your sister? She has a bright future ahead of her. Come on, I hate that word, disappointed. It makes me think I'm useless. Oh, okay! And I'm happy with Keisha, I really am. You're not useless, baby. You're precious. I want the best for you and your brother. You've got a bright future ahead of you. I know more. I'll change. We'll change. Oh, you little f- Oh my god, are you okay, love? Are you okay, love? You're not you're okay. You're okay. Okay. Jay, you okay? Oh my god. Okay. You are right. Okay. Oh, no problem then. Nice place. <laughs> it's, it's not mine, it's my mum's. Yeah, of course it is. You got a phone? Yeah. Um. Yeah, true by the way. Come here. <laughs> You alright lads? Alright Mr Willis. Willis. Call me Charles. You alright Charles? Are you coming or what? So Charles, what's this job? Well I need a package picking up and one of you two to pick it up for me. What's in it? Does it matter? Of course it matters, why have you got to stop by please? You won't. Yeah, I'll be back inside. Look, let me do the worrying, alright? So what's in it then? What do you think? Drugs? Well, yeah, I ain't fucking gun running, am I? I told you it was Ben, I fucking knew it. Alright, keep it there. Is your car legal? How do you mean? Well, tax MAT insured. Well, yeah, sort of. I mean, sort of, it either is or it isn't. It's MOT'd. Well, it ain't then, is it? Get it sorted for Friday. Okay. I get the instructions Friday, everything's alright, Monday, you get two grand each. Two fucking grand? Chill out bro. Yeah, pay will be sorted for Friday. I'll be in touch. If you blow that fucking money, you're dead. This is your chance to earn two grand each, every fortnight. So don't fuck it up. You won't Mr Willis, you promise. You don't be Mick. Yeah. Well, fuck off then. How do you pull up with him, mate? I know it's hard to do, but sometimes it's actually alright. I've not got angry like that at somebody for a long time. I could have killed him in there. Good job you stopped me. I know. I've seen it in your eyes. What's your story? I mean, you mean like, you seem like a laid back kind of guy. So I'm shocked to see you keep out in there. Don't get me wrong, but I'd love to see you bang your mind out of order, mate. I was in anger management for 12 months. I did 12 months in Paul, bro. Look, I fired some guy. He tried to move to my girl in the club. So I just flipped on him. All I can remember was sitting on top of him and just filling his face in. The DJ was on his microphone saying, he's gonna kill him. I just flipped. Shit. You know what hurt the most though? What's that? It looked 
Don't open the girl. She just looks scared. I couldn't have this scared me like that. She looked to me like I was some animal in a cage. So I vowed to be a different man. And that prick in there brought that animal back out. Sorry man, I'm just getting worked up. Yeah, you too. I'm going to pass for a while. Definitely.